Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the August Leco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, yeah, T just a random quick update. I did trivia night here in New York. There's a trivia league. Uh, definitely recommend if you're into trivia, but I did it with a bunch of my friends. And this is loading really slowly. Um, and yeah, and, and we finished second place today. It was a good comeback. We were down down a lot from the first round, but we kind of claw our way back and got, I guess, more free alcohol, which is good. What is going on? But yeah, so I'm having a good swell day, also a little bit uh, bust in a good way. And as soon as I can open these, uh, what is going on here? Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, running into some technical difficulties, but hope everyone's doing all right on this fine uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on when you're watching this. Let me click on this again. Oh, there we go. Now it's loading. That's really weird. Anyway, yeah, let's let's look at today's problem. And as usual, as I would say, I do plan to do a bonus question after this, a random question I haven't solved before. So definitely, you know, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and get notified on those problems as well. Anyway, today's problem is my calendar one or my calendar I. Hmm. You're implementing a program to use as you can there, new event if it doesn't cause a double booking. So double booking is something about an intersection and start to end. Okay. Um, so you just do start and end and you should start to end with 10 to the 9. Okay. Um, so the one thing that you would recognize here is that there's a sort of... Um, there's a sort of... Um, hmm, how do I say this? There's a sort of like uh, um, structure. There's a sort of structure in which, um, you know, it's very binary searchable is what I was going to say. And you, you would do uh, in the sense that because we don't have to, re well, I guess even when we remove stuff, it's okay. But because we only add stuff, we can definitely... Um, do a binary search and then change it and then add stuff. Um, and or is binary, binary search is not the right answer. Well, binary search is part of the answer. The other part of that binary search is having a binary, binary search structure. And that structure is going to be way off in a binary tree. So, okay. So, I, I think I spoke too quickly about the binary search, but for a reason that you'll see in a second. But if you do it in a binary tree or maybe a segment tree type thing, um, this would be perfectly, uh, well, I guess you can do segment three because it goes up 10 to the nine, but, but yeah, but that's basically the idea is this binary search tree and a balanced binary search tree will allow you to do a read and, uh, uh, and an add in all of one time or whatever, right? Oh, oh sorry. All of lock end time, obviously. I don't know why I misspoke. Like I said, maybe I drank a little bit, but yeah, the way that I'm going to do it is with sorted list, which is kind of a magical thing from uh, from Python. So yeah, and the idea, we have to be a little bit careful, but it really is pretty straightforward. I think we, let's see, we want a binary search. How do we want a binary search? We want a binary search to start. Because um, basically what we want to store is the left and the right. And then here, what we want to do is just do a binary search and then look to the left, look to the right to see if they intersect with either of those ones. I think that would be good enough. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, maybe you have to do an extra one if you really want to be safe, like two on the left, two on the right. But I think one should be good because you want to, you want to see if your current segment clips with the one on the left or the one on the right, right? And if, it's, if it matches exactly, then you encrypt the one on the right, but if you don't match it, then it's going to be the one on the left, um, depending or like, yeah. It, otherwise, it's going to be the one on the left, and then you just have to check. I think that should be good. But yeah, so if, so now we have self.sl of index. So, okay. So, well, first we have to check that index is less than uh, length of self.sl, less than strictly. If this is the case, and uh, okay, so if this is the case, then let, let's check this. So then here, I'm just going to call uh, left, right, 
is you go to self.s.index and then what happens, right? Then we check whether it overlaps. So if duh, 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 or um, yeah, okay. Then it overlaps. Yeah, is it inclusive or exclusive? Oh, it's, mm, what is pinging me? Okay, I muted stuff, but uh, okay, so this is actually, so we just have to be a little bit careful, but I think we can just minus one on the end sign should be okay because it does, it's a open range. So yeah, then if this is the case, when we return force, otherwise we do sub.sl.add of uh, start. And actually we forgot to, to, so this is one of them. And then the other one is, is um, if index minus one is greater than zero, uh yeah then left right is equal, and then we try to we just do the same thing but for index minus one maybe we could use the helper here uh we add and then we turn true and i think this should be good maybe i have a mind oh wait we have to do n minus one to make it inclusive just slightly easier for me Let's see. Okay, that looks good. Let's give it a submit. I, it's very easy to have an off by one, so we'll see. Apparently, last time I had two wrong answers, and this one I have one wrong answer, so maybe I should be a little bit careful. But honestly, some of it is just me being lazy. But uh, okay, so let's see what the discrepancy is. Or maybe I hope that it's a minor discrepancy and not just like some major thing. But oh, I could click on diff. So okay, 47, 33, 41. Uh, did I return the wrong thing? Oh no, I returned the right idea. I mean, okay, so let's see, right? So we have 47.50, then we have 33.41, then we have 39.45, which is bad, 33.42, which is also bad, and then 25.32, which is good, and then, uh, and then 26.35, which is bad, and then 19.25, Oh, I see. Uh, that's just sloppy. Because I did n minus 1 because I want it to be inclusive, but that also means that this n should be inclusive, right? So because this this 25 clips this one, it thinks it overlaps, but it doesn't. So um, I just need to be better about this or consistent about this. Um, that was just sloppy. Let's see if that fixes it. Oh, it still is wrong, huh? Oh, and then now is the last one. Let's see. So... Yeah, so okay. So let's say this was uh, corrected to be true. Where's the. Oh, this is it. No, this is right. And then 3 8. Let's see. Uh, and then 8 13. It's okay. And then 18 27. Oh, I knew that this was going to be the case. Ah, ah, ah. But I, I, I was I thought that maybe I could be lazy on this one, but I was just wrong. So what happens here is that uh, yeah, I mean I, I just needed to do the whole thing. Um, okay, let me actually rewrite this a little bit uh, to make it inclusive. So now this is more clear. And I actually thought that I needed to do this, but I couldn't prove it. But I was just lazy, and then I thought that uh, this was the logic as well. Um, yeah, and this should be good, I think. That's true now that we are, oh, well, this one's wrong because now we want to, because uh, we did a subtract one. It just so happens that that was right. But okay, let's give it a quick submit again. Um, again, this is just me being lazy. Maybe I could have came up with more cases, but this is good. So yeah, I was just a little bit sloppy with two things. One is um, not paying attention about the inclusive and exclusiveness, which is something that happens a lot. So maybe I need to be better about. And this is the type of problem that, I don't know why I'm rushing that much, but still, um, eh. Need to be better. And this this one I knew, but I thought that maybe I could get away with it because maybe I think I miscounted in my head. But um, yeah. So what is the complexity here? Well, we're going to do two binary search and one binary-ish insert or lock of n insert. So this is going to be O of log n, and that's pretty much it. O of n space, O of n log n time. And yeah, that's what I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Remember, I'm going to do a bonus one after this, so 
definitely check that out. Uh, give me some love and support. I wonder, I'm curious what I did last time. Okay, I'm not gonna. I guess I had the same. I, uh, I did a binary search on both. I think that would have been a little bit trickier, but um, and as you can see with the wrong answers. Okay. Anyway, stay tuned. Bye bye.